Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest House of Iron 4 video. My latest Poland video was very well received and I'm happy to see that, because in it I talked about being burnt out in Hoy a little bit and only wanting to play the stuff that I actually enjoy from now on, rather than searching for the next popular video and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do just that, I'm going to explore Italy's new focus tree. Well, it's not so new anymore, it came out in the By Blood and Loan DLC together with Switzerland and Ethiopia, but while I explored Ethiopia and Switzerland, I have not explored Italy. Only had a little try and a look at the focus tree. So that's what we're going to be doing today, having a look at the focus tree. I think I will stick with Mussolini, the douche, but we'll see about it during the game. Also, I'm turning off historical focuses so that we can see some randomness in the game. Regular difficulty, I'm in mode, non-historical focuses, Italy, let's go. We start with a very big army, powerful industry, lots of manpower, all around good country. We also start at war with Ethiopia. This war is easy to win, but then you have to complete missions to uh, pacify Ethiopia and stuff like that, which is very inconvenient. The best way to win this quickly, well, the most effortless way, is to just get all your troops and send them to Ethiopia. Put them on aggressive and attack. Now, what generals do we want to use? Sebastiano here is an inflexible strategist, which is a very good trait for a field marshal. So let's appoint him as the leader of one army, and we have another with the same trait, Pietro here. He goes to the second army. Our field marshal is going to be Rodolfo. He'll be replaced for later, and that's it for the armies. Let's add all our planes to one of the armies. I don't really care what they do, I'm gonna win this... Uh, or anyway, but I just want to get some air experience. Focuses. We cannot do the political ones yet. What I can do is Italian highways, which will lead to an extra research slot. Let's also start an agency. We can actually get an agency very cheaply, or rather even for free with the focus we're going to be doing anyway, but I want it immediately. Production. Make a lot of these submarines. They have the longest range of all the ships we have. So they might come in handy later. Cancel the Air Force for now, cancel the tanks, and all the infantry weapons. Well, actually, I'd like to do some artillery and some anti-air, as well as trains. Not too much, just one factory each. I think if I do this before unpausing, they should jump to full efficiency. Not sure about that. Some civilian factories, please. Research, some research, some industry, and an infantry boost. This time we have enough factories to actually use support companies, although probably not right away. We'll see. We'll see what opportunities uh, happen in the world. If there's a civil war in Germany, if Yugoslavia goes communist, if France goes communist, or something else even, uh, by any means necessary attack. And send an ultimatum to Aosa. This gives me better logistics, this gives me better attack. Yeah, that's fine. By any means necessary. Also, Aosa should surrender to us. They do. And we can extend the front line. Our guys are arriving in Ethiopia. I don't have to micromanage this. Success in North Ethiopia. Excellent. Stability and war support. Local training centers. And we've made our highways. Now what we need is this. The research slot. So, railway innovations it is. Oh yeah, and use trucks if you can. Priorities, operations, garrisons, and then everything else. Excellent, he's gaining experience quickly. He'll be a field marshal soon enough. Success, and we finished the solid progress thingy. Well, let's finish what we're doing first, and then we can go down this path here. Cryptology department, and let's see what Germany does. Is there going to be a civil war? Actually, a civil war would be good for us, yes. Here it is. Okay, then. I think we'll be conquering Germany soon, because the military junta will win, and then we can beat them up to get all of Germany. Okay, yeah, let's do that, but for that I will need... Austria to get connected to Germany to actually be able to reach their territory or Switzerland We could get Austria or Switzerland or perhaps do naval invasions on the Netherlands for example, but that's a lot of work Let's just attack Austria then justify war goal on Austria It's gonna take a while and in that case I want a German spy to be sent here to the German military junta Yeah, the plan is finish off Ethiopia attack Austria attack Germany Japan abundance naval treaty not my problem Perhaps both Germanys. We'll see. Well, Ethiopia is almost taken care of. Actually, it's not bad if it this takes a long time and a lot of casualties because my generals will get skills. Radio interception group and start decrypting the German military junta. Now, they are a major inner civil war, so justifying on them should be relatively quick. Yes, it is. How about the other Germany? 85 days as well. And I'm already justifying something. You know what? I could actually attack them both if they're still at war. One, I'm done with Austria. Um, I'll explain later. Much can change in that time. Mechanical computing. Right, we've done railway innovations. We could go for the research slot now, but I think we will benefit more from getting an extra operative. Now, this would give me uh, the agency for free, but five factories for 30 days is not a big price, and by starting it early, I can actually have a head start 
on the upgrades as well. How are you guys doing? Still level three. And Ethiopia is taken care of. Excellent. Now, you know what I could do? I could just puppet them. Then I wouldn't have to do all those, you know, small things with pacifying Ethiopia, I think. More than that, I can actually satellite all those small countries out of Ethiopia. And this way, I'll get a lot of puppets uh, who will have a lot of their own um, focus trees. And they'll be making factories with those. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's do that. Mm, submit demands for this turn. What do we have left? We'll satellite Ethiopia with Sheva. We'll satellite Benishan Gulgumuz with uh, Gojam. And we'll satellite Oromia with Velga. Or Velga, whatever. And this way, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten puppets out of this. Can I add war reparations? Yes. <laughs> yes, I can. Additionally. And I can confiscate the resources. What does it do exactly? Yeah, I'm gonna take everything. Don't need demilitarized zones because they're my subjects. Submit demands. Give me everything. Alright. I might even release a uh, Sultanate of Aosa as another subject. Now, there might be a problem with Ethiopia being a puppet because they have a focus tree that can mess with things. But this is an exploratory run. I want to see what happens. So why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten puppets. It says it here. Confirm an exit. Excellent. And I can even use their manpower if I want to. Now, Sultanate of Aosa, do we want to make it another subject? It has one military factory. I don't think I need to do that. And part of the reason why I puppeted all these Ethiopian nations is because otherwise I would need to pacify them. Let's see. I could release some countries, but I cannot release Sultan of Aosa. Oh, I, I can return territory because they claim to be Aosa. All right. I'll just keep it then. I might return it to them later. Oh, and I got Italian, East Africa. So. Use your focus trees to give me factories, please. And you, my wonderful army, will return home now. Bypassed. War logistics. And let's create our army that will defeat Austria and then Germany. I don't think I'll have enough time to create proper supported army. Although I suppose I might. Should I use support companies for this or just use pure infantry? Hmm. Speed is of the essence. I want to hit them when they're still weak from the civil war. And again, I have... 21 military factories, which is plenty. Also, we're going to want to switch our cavalry, because we do have some cavalry, over to infantry. You know what, I'm going to try and use support companies from the very start. We'll see how well this works out. And I think three armies will be appropriate, three, four armies. So let's create a template for quick deployment, save that, and we want 26 of these. Let's duplicate this template, call it infantry with support, give it the eagle, and we want anti-air in it as well. Perhaps I should increase the size of the unit too. Yes, I probably should. Let's go to the true old tested 20 width with support. Now I have a lot of a lot of different types of units. I'm gonna switch those that I can switch into that new template. We'll keep the mountaineers, we'll keep tanks, but not all the tanks. I don't want to be making new tanks, just use up the ones we already have. Right, sail home. Missions from the deuce. I know it's too chair, but more decryption. No. Since I am using support equipment, we'll need to provide some of it. Let's put two factories on these and four factories on that. Are we going to make enough? Probably not. Let's hope we can confiscate some from Austria. German war is going quickly. Don't win too quickly, please. All right, it's time to make Sebastiano my new field marshal. He's just level three, but he is an organizer and an inflexible strategist. Those are very good qualifications to be a field marshal. He's going to be a logistics wizard, an unyielding defender, and we'll give him offensive doctrine when we have uh, the ability to do so. Deploy troops, switch them to the new template, and here's your general. Attack Austria aggressively with everything you have. We definitely have enough manpower. Uh, support equipment is a bit of a problem. I'm hoping that my new puppets will quickly use their industrial focus trees to get all the factories, which I will in turn use. Radio. Ah, extra agent for this. Triumph in Africa. Also, we can hire a silent workhorse. Let's do that. Since we're going with support companies, let's research the recon company. New operative. Can we hire another German yet? No. Well, he's pretty good. But he has a pipe. I want him. Collaboration government time. My favorite time of the year. Is this a good production setup? Probably not. Bypass the focus. That's fine. No. Political stuff or research slots. I'm thinking research slot. Investments in Edison. Although, should we really do that? Hmm. No, maybe, maybe let's get political first. Now we could do culto del duce, which of course in English means cult of the douche, or we could defy the douche. I will be sticking with him this game. Cult of the douche, please. Get all that political power. Let's have a quick look at our puppets. Oh, they don't have the generic focus tree, do they? No. Well, I'm hoping they will get some factories from the ones they have. Now we have the balance of power stuff, and there are four ministries. We could take them over personally, 
and get nice bonuses, or we could hire ministers for them, which give better bonuses but take up uh, an advisor slot and also require us to do proper focuses. So I think I'm just gonna take the ministries myself and use my advisor slots for other stuff, like maybe the editor. Now these are good. 2% research speed, 5% stability, 5% political power gain, and here factory and dockyard output, and fascism and power gain. These are really good and tempting. So each of them requires us to do a focus. Let's see, for this we need security militas, and for this we need the gabotai. Well, those are good focuses that I want to do anyway. Perhaps I should really use these ministers. Hmm. It's a difficult decision. If I use them, I'm only going to use the Minister of Education and the Minister of Corporations. So the other two I can just take over. Foreign Affairs and Justice. This gives me political power. Two months and a bit until we can attack Austria. And once we're done with them, it's Germany time. Oh, Ethiopia is sending me troops. Hmm. And the others already are making them as well. I could just create an extra army just from my colonial troops and that probably will work out nicely. New agent. Can we get another German? No. Then let's get this guy because he has three traits. Everybody get over there. And <laughs> just as I have hired him I can get a German. Yeah well, it's gonna be fine. Perhaps I should have stuck with pure infantry. Just don't have enough artillery and anti-air. Oh yeah, well, we'll have to acquire some. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. All right. So if I wait, he'll take over Austria and then we can take over Austria and Hungary in a single war. Mm, elect a king, Augsburg prince, take Austria by force. Hmm. In a month Austria will be doing a referendum or being attacked by Hungary. However, I will probably destroy them before that. It's a pity. If I knew they were going that way, I would have justified the war on Hungary instead and taken them over together. But it's not that important. I really need Austria right now, and I couldn't know what they're gonna do. Let's do La Battaglia per la Terra. We are on non-historical focuses, so I have no idea what they're doing. Right, we need to take over Austria before Germany surrenders, because while they're fighting each other, I have very quick justifications. So I can justify on both of them quickly. War goes ready, declare war. End of League of Nations. Not a problem. Go. Go, attack, gain army experience. Oh, I forgot about the Air Force. Oh, they're still assigned. That's fine. Good. Damn it. Germany's been the next, and I'm still fighting Austria. And not moving quickly enough. You attack. Now, if I justify on them, they're non aligned. They could get guaranteed. It would be pretty terrible. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll go communist. No, I don't think they ever do that. Competing machine and industry. The battle for births, please. Inventory expert. Regrouping specialist. Defense specialist. An industrialization program. Let's see. Civilian factories, working on it. Lithuania and Spain having civil wars. Let's strengthen the regime. Do war economy. Meticulous preparation. Professional officer call. And I'll leave that for later. Decrypted Germany. They would actually want to form a faction with me, even though I'm planning on attacking them. The problem is, they're non aligned at the moment. If I justify a war goal on them, they will likely get guaranteed by France and Britain. Or at least Britain. Although Britain seems to be going fascist, really. Am I seeing this right? So if I wait, this might actually turn out. Okay. Oh, civil war with communists in Japan. That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna decrypt France. Offensive doctrine. And he can become an offense specialist, but I already did hire a defense specialist. So it's fine. It really does look like Britain is going fascist. Okay, Mr. Mosley. Let's be friends. I'm going to switch to superior firepower. We've strengthened the regime plenty. We're getting a lot of political power. Now it's time to get the second research slot and use that political power. Improve the worker conditions, please. And anti-democratic rate. That's some stability. Black shirts in the UK. Yes, we saw that coming. Yeah, it's a lot of fight. Lithuania is now communist. And they're going democratic, Germans. All right, I think I'm be attacking the Germans Likely with the French, because the French might be backing them, once the British turn to fascism. It can be difficult fighting the Germans and the French, however, the Germans should still be weakened after the Civil War. Although they are German, so we'll see. Austria, annex. And I feel like I actually do better if I'm doing 12 with instead of 20. Actually, I'm gonna keep this saved, but I'll switch over to this, to this template. Give it a different eagle, and also give them the entire switch them to that. And go to a full army group, which means 48 more units. A small inventory boost. Let's improve relations with France. Maybe then they will not be uh, helping the Germans. We'll see. Ah, my subjects are making troops. Excellent. I'm going to requisition all of these troops and use them. Not immediately. Research slot, please. Industrialization program complete. Excellent. Free trade time. That means we're missing some resources, but we also get bonuses to our factory output and stuff like that. Now, do you guys have steel? No. Let's buy French steel. Oh, I don't have the factories for trade. Ah, um, because we're doing operations. We have completed two of them, and we are at 75 collaboration. Do I need more? don't actually need more if I want to do collaboration governments. 
because we only need 80 for that. But if I do three, we can just keep the territory for ourselves at 100% collaboration. Maybe we should do that. Still waiting. If the UK is fascist, they're not going to guarantee Germany. And if France is communist, which seems to be happening, neither will they. And we just need to wait a bit. Of course, we'll have to beat Germany, but they have been weakened by a civil war. So I am optimistic. What's next? Towards Greater Italy or Mare Nostrum, perhaps one of the side ones. Let's do Man of Providence. And Concentrated Industry 3, because we have a boost. And 5 research slots. China attacking Shangxi. This will still take a little while. But France, well, this could go either way. I don't have enough network strength there. If I hired an elusive gentleman, I could send one guy to France. How do we have an elusive gentleman? I do have one. Let's do that so we can plan better. And I'll hire one of the ministers. Which one's better? Education is 2% research, 5% stability, and this is 5% factory and dockyard output. We're not missing stability. We have lots of stability. All right, I'm going to take over the Ministry of Education and leave the corporations to another guy. And we need for that, what do we need? Security Militas. Oh, shouldn't have gone with Man of Providence then. All right, we'll do that next. Let's hire a French spy. Perhaps I shouldn't have gone to free trade with the missions eating so much of our industry. I made the temporary setback. Now, Man of Providence, let's do Security Militas. The Swiss Confederation could help us out with gold. A sound idea. Are you going fascist? They are. Excellent. Come on, UK, I want to attack the Germans. I don't want to fight too many people at once. So, everybody go balanced and exercise. I was going to waste some resources. Horses. French guy, go to France. Mm, mission Nologanese no factories, excellent. We can um, buy some tungsten and some steel. Support battalion, assault battalion. I don't know what that is. I might do it just for that. Perhaps I should do Mare Nostrum and invite mm, the new fascist Britain to my faction. Because with this, I don't think I can really create factions. Yes, I think I need that. Although, uh, towards Greater Italy gives me better bonuses. But we'll have a lot of those anyway. Soviet Union attacks Romania. Hmm. You fascist yet, Britain? Not yet. Oh, of course, Romania was guaranteed by France, so France is at war with the Soviets, even though they're very communist. That makes them a tempting target, you know? Maybe you should attack Yugoslavia. I'll leave Germany for later, because Yugoslavia is guaranteed by Romania, Czechoslovakia, and France. And France being at war with the Soviet Union, I could actually join the Comintern if I so chose. You know what, let's cancel Mare Nostrum, and let's do Battaglioni d'Assalto, because I want to see what they are. Well, this changes things a bit. Justify on Yugoslavia, then. Oh, wait a minute. If I do, towards Greater Italy, do I get a war goal on Yugoslavia? I do. Let's do that, then. Leave Germany for a little later. You, Czechoslovakia. You, France. You, Yugoslavia. You, also Yugoslavia. And you, this bit of France. Stop your exercise. And I'm gonna need some troops from my colonial friends. Who has the most? They all have three. Request forces. From everyone. And there's ten of them, so it's gonna take a moment. Thirty-one. Well, that's excellent for the purpose that I actually want them for, which is to guard my ports. Let's guard North African ports as well. Actually, all the African ports as well. Needs 30 units. That's fine. Here we go. Have a general. Even a field marshal. He's defensive. Take him. Activate all your orders and move in a balanced manner. Let's check production. We're missing lots of stuff. Yeah, I should have gone with pure infantry. I still could. And then upgrade them later. I think I need to. I just don't have enough support equipment. At least on some of them. All right, let's create this copy. Just a 12 with infantry with no supports. The Roman thing. Why not? Six with no supports. There we go. Switch. Still not enough support equipment and artillery and stuff. Switch. Still not enough. Switch another one. I'm gonna lose some experience, but not a lot. All right, this is sustainable. Three factories on these, five on this, and more on just pure infantry guns. It will do. US pursues interventionism. All right, good to know. World's Greater Italy, which gives me war goals. And I'm gonna make use of them immediately. Let us attack Yugoslavia. Not calling in any allies. Let's do to live as a lion. Oh, and I have a lot of political power. We should use that. Extensive conscription, Minister of Corporations, and increase Mussolini's power, hold a military parade, and praise the army, praise the navy. This will do. And praise the Air Force. No one for superior firepower. Ignore them then. Oh, we're gonna get more war support from war propaganda. Radio propaganda. Sure, let's do that. All right, well, let's go. Yugoslavia, Romania, Slova Czechoslovakia, and France. Is everyone called in? Yes. Can we join the Comintern? We cannot ask to join. Get military access, it might come in handy. Although I'm not going to be doing all the 66 because you guys don't like it. Our docking rights. Sure. And we're making progress. Use the French cipher. Oh, we don't have it yet. Well, use the French cipher when you have it. Full of Afar. Oh, this changes balance of power. This effect will be applied every time Italy loses control of a non-core state to an enemy as long as the value is 
Well, that's bad, isn't it? I do have some troops here, maybe that won't be an issue. Wait, why did you guys not go where I told you to go? You were supposed to guard my ports, and you're just sitting here. Why? No valid path to the target, Maya. Alright, let's just use them. This way then. Send them to a different army. Attack from over here. But the production. This is gonna be an issue as well, isn't it? We just need to win quickly. Making good progress in Yugoslavia. Hmm, or are we? Actually, not so good. Alright, run away. We'll kill them from, from the other side. Actually, I'll send them to Czechoslovakia instead. Take that back. Apply the French cipher. Not fascist yet. Well, I might have made a mistake, because I won't be joining the Comintern, and without Mare Nostrum seems like I can't create factions. And I wanted to befriend the United Kingdom. Oh well. Strengthen the army. What do you want, Benito? More manpower in the field. I can do that. Better guns, please. Signal company? Hmm, not yet. Let's do the assault battalions, finally. Are you guys making any progress? Slow progress. Progress nonetheless. Decrypt France again. Collaboration governments on France. Probably won't manage to do that in time. But we'll see. Delay. Soviet Union declares war on the Soviet Union. Does that mean you're no longer fighting? No, no, you're fighting the Soviet Union, just not that Soviet Union? No, that Soviet Union. But your borders got reset. Okay, then. The beauty of, the, of a random world. Now, it looks like I made a mistake here. I want to create a faction. Maybe I can get that through foreign affairs? Right, with this I'll be able to create factions. With Italy first. European Combine. Soviet Lithuania and the Soviet Union. It's going well in France. I'd actually defeat France before I defeat any of the others. Well, that would be great, actually. The United Kingdom almost entirely fascist. You just push with everything. Force attack. Well, they are having some trouble. Maybe we should use naval invasions. Now let's do foreign affairs so I can create a faction. French cipher. Should I go aggressive? Mm, probably not. Ah, these guys took over. The territory here. Nice. Let's send them over here. You know what? While the French cipher is active, I'm going to activate you aggressively and make some progress, probably. Also, mobile defense. Too late with these, I think. With rallies and pressures, because I'm at war with two of them. I guess I'll do Balkan Ambition, and then Italy first. Oh, we have Black Shirts. You can become a regrouping specialist. Who do we have? We have a regrouping specialist. A logistics guy would be better. Back to balanced approach on the French. And I'm gonna leave a couple of you here, just to guard the strait. And the main force of this army is going to relocate over here. Czechoslovakia went communist. I have two armies in Czechoslovakia. One will probably suffice. Let's concentrate on France. I need Albania for this. Hmm. Hey, Albania. Wanna be a subject? Oh, the Soviet Union was annexed by the SSSR. Who are still at war with France. You guys want to create a faction or something? Because this leaves me in a bad position of fighting all these guys on my own. I guess we'll just have to manage. No, we don't want to invest in Turkey. Romania and Czechoslovakia have created a faction against me. I'm very disappointed by the United Kingdom. They're being very slow. Hmm, I'm being pushed back by Czechoslovakia. Probably withdrawing an army from here was not the best decision. If I can get France defeated quickly, that will make everything else easier. Let's do devotion. Check that assault battalion. Oh, it just needs support equipment. And a very little support equipment. Can be pretty useful. Can't really afford to do anything right now. I think I went into war too early. I'm gonna try and push France aggressively once we have... Oh, Albania yields. Um, but when I click this, Albania is going to be up for grabs by Yugoslavia. So you guys actually are going to relocate here. So we can help Albania. Or rather relocate there. Get to this port. French cipher is decrypted. Alright. What do we do? First we... Uh, accept Albania's devotion, and we create a front line here. Use these guys to attack. You infantry expert. Now we switch these two guys to aggressive and activate the French cipher while decrypting Czechoslovakia. Yeah, I haven't made the best decisions, have I? Oh well, let's try and make it work, regardless. Can we progress in France? Looks like Mr. Lee, yes, we know. We made it happen. Should we force attack? Let's. Integrated support. Ah, managed to send my troops to Albania. Excellent. Looks like going aggressive won't help us even with the cipher. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, so you go balanced. Let's boost our army a bit. And I need to send this guy to Czechoslovakia because they're not doing very well. One army on the French border will have to suffice. And leave from my subject. Sure. I overestimated the strength of the Soviet Union. I mean, now the other Soviet Union is fighting them as well. But still. Well, damn. The Europe Alliance. That's the Europe Alliance. Alright, so. Oh, actually, that's good for me because they joined. A uh, nationalist Spain joined them, which means they'll be at war with Spain, Spain, which can be good for me, because France will be fighting Spain. It's a bit chaotic, isn't it? So Spain is now at war with France. Preserve army traditions. And next doctrine, please. And try being aggressive for a moment. It looks like they don't have the troops here. They must have moved some to Spain. You, there. You. Can I take Paris? Please take Paris. Probably won't work. Oh, I have tons of political power, which I forgot about. Again. Industrial concern, please. And infantry equipment designer. Light aircraft designer. I could make Albania subject with this. Utilize domestic film industry for more war sport. It's gonna be Africano, and I need more army. 
If I need more people in the field, I just need to deploy some more people. Aggressive, this is not working. Be balanced. Still keep attacking. Use French cipher. Attack Czechoslovakia. The only is undefended, and you're not going there. Move. Get me victory points. Be aggressive after all. Spanish communism next. People's Republic of Spain. Oh, Spain became communist. We still at war with France, but there's no fighting on this border, which is strange. Some boosts to our military. Now we have Czechoslovakia's cipher. Let's activate it. I'm not sure I'm using my troops correctly. Perhaps I should get these guys out because there was no attempt of a naval invasion, and I have been keeping my fleet in reserve to use it on Britain later, but perhaps that is not necessary. Should I perhaps do a naval invasion? Would that be beneficial? Mm, probably not very much. They are likely to be defending this area as well because they're at war with Spain too. I'm gonna keep the stronger army of the two that are in Czechoslovakia there, but move the weaker one over to France. And let's start making the better guns. Maybe if we win here, I can launch a naval invasion all the round to the other side of France. That could work. Nationalist Spain is about to be defeated. I really need to do Italy first because now I can. I could create a faction with Spain with that, I think. Although they're communists, so maybe not. We'll see. Britain has become fascist. And actually, I might be able to persuade them to become my friend and help me in this war. Let's improve relations. Because they are still the leader of the Allies, since there was no civil war. Hold military. Oh, damn it. I forgot about that mission. Oh, uh, sure. I'll outsource stuff to them. Socialist republics of Bulgaria will join my faction with this. They really? Interesting. That could be helpful. But let's wait a moment and see if we can join the Allies. We are both fascists after all. Army leaders. Doing well over here. Alright, we're progressing with the new army helping here. The thing with France is, I only need 20% of their territory to capitulate them. Should be pretty easy, but I am fighting on many fronts, and I'm pretty weak, because I made a mistake with the, with the support companies. Should have just gone with pure infantry as usual. It is too early for support companies. And now you want me to expand the air force, why? Produce new fighters. I suppose I could do that. Again, I do have better things to do with my industry. Let's not. At least not, not now. The French cipher, excellent. Is that the great Czechoslovakia? And some faction shenanigans going on in Asia. Oh, and we're progressing very nicely in France. Very good. The death of the Pope, we don't care. Now, got another victory point. Getting there. All right, they're pushing me out in the south. Level 6, Field Marshal, excellent. Charismatic. Or should we do Fast Planner? No, let's do Charismatic. An extra army. Get over here. Don't have guns? Perhaps I'll get them in time. If you have a manpower, you can at least defend the territory. So can I join your faction? Minus 3. You know what, I could probably influence them diplomatically. There you go. Don't really need a spy network in Germany at the moment. So much war to go power, what to do with it? War bonds. Hmm, I want him to be my other field marshal, so I'm not giving him any traits. I suppose I could actually promote him to do that. He's gonna lose some traits, uh, some points for now, but it's not important. Uh, we're gonna give him offensive doctrine. Oh, we don't have the points right now. Later then. Oh, I could make you an offense expert or a logistics expert. And you, Giovanni, is sadly already an advisor, but we're gonna get a logistics guy uh, soon with a focus. Are we about to capitulate France? It looks like it. Well, about to is maybe saying a bit much, but we're making steady progress. China attacks communist China, and we do forward observers. Let's do Capo Supremo. How's my diplomatic pressure working? Is it doing anything? Oh, it changes the requirement, not their acceptance. Well, that's... Useless, isn't it? Well, then we're not gonna join on the British faction. Well, we can after the war, but after the war we won't need them anymore. So we go back to Germany. Unless, of course, we want them to help us kill Germany. But there should be no need for that. Let's stop our focus of Capo Supremo and instead to Italy first. I can always disband my faction if I so choose. Also, Spain, why are you not doing anything on this border? I am being pushed back a little bit down here. Oh, I didn't finish decryption. That's unfortunate. Should have done so. No progress on Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia, but at least they're not pushing us back and we are getting into France. Yeah, I got into the war way too quickly. I was actually counting on the Soviet Union beating up Romania, but apparently that was too much to ask. Oh well, infantry expert. Become an offense expert, please. I replace this guy because he's just a specialist. And with uh, the army leaders thing, I can hire the logistics guy. It's gonna help a bit. Do we do anything interesting here? Not really. How long on until my last collaboration government finishes? 17 days. All right, Vichy is undefended. Let's take it. No, nope, that was just a moment. I'm going to wait for this operation to finish and for my cipher on France to finish. And then I'm going to try and do a super aggressive attack, which probably won't work, but we can try it. Reveal the cipher. Mission finishes in one day. Go aggressive on the units on the French front. Attack with everything you have. And I did send my air force over here. Um, it's not a big air force. I've used up most of it. And I'm missing guns all the time, so there's no production capacity to use on 
planes, but what I can do is just send the earrings I have over here. Might help a bit. Right, go. Attack. Maybe it will work out. Also, advanced fire bases. The mission has been completed. We have 100% collaboration in France. This will make them surrender at what level? 80%. So it didn't really have an impact at this point. Well, it's already a pretty good amount. Now, maybe I could cut these guys at the Maginot off. How about I do this? Attack them here to block it. If I can take these victory points, that might just be enough. And then we'll have France. If it works out, of course. British Empire requests alliance. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. British Empire puppet Italian East Africa becomes independent. Wait, every subject country becomes independent? Why? This is weird. I mean, if it's just Italian East Africa, I can sacrifice one puppet. It's not a lot. Which one is this? The one that used to be Ethiopia. They are giving me a couple of factories, but do we actually want an alliance with the United Kingdom? Now, let's have a quick look at the British. They still have their subjects. I could use their help. You know what? I think I have more to gain by joining them, but... Uh, this looks, this is a conflicting piece of information because it says that every subject country will become independent, but it also says that just East Africa becomes independent. We'll see. Let's click it and see. What subjects do we have? Oh, looks like we still have our subjects after all. So nobody became independent. Well, excellent. Now we have the Brits in a war, uh, sorry, in an alliance with us. Do we want them in the war as well? They would certainly be helpful. They might want to take stuff. I really don't want them to take stuff. Maybe I should beat up France on my own. Then again, even if I am about to defeat France, I will still have to deal with Slovakia, Yugoslavia and the Kingdom of Romania. So I am actually going to call them to arms. Those are the same war, aren't they? Let's select both. Maybe they'll merge. Come on, Britain. Italy first has been cancelled, that's fine. It was not that important. Let's do Capo Supremo as we were supposed to. Anglo-Italian alliance has happened. Now will you guys actually help me or will you just sit on your island as you usually do? Oh, and send me stuff. Sure. I will give them some participation, but not a lot. I should be able to get all of France for myself. Hey, we cut them off. Kind of. Oh, can I reach Paris? I don't think I can, but let's try. Looks like we won't need the British help. And it wouldn't come in time anyway. Oh, but we can become the spy master of the Allies. Let's activate Chosovec's cipher. We're now spy master. Two new agents. Excellent. Hmm, they will probably be creating a faction soon. I should kill them after this war. Paris is sadly defended. Let's wait, maybe they'll move off. Quite close to victory. Maybe get over here. Then lease. Um, sure, I'll take all the land lease. Now, should we collaboration government next? We could do Romania. Are they actually gonna defeat the Soviet Union on their own? Well, the Soviets are fighting everybody. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people. The two of you are going to Romania. Maybe just one goes to Romania and one goes to Czechoslovakia. Get a couple more victory points and France is done for. There it is. Kingdom of Romania has called Free France as our enemy. Well, Free France thing happened, but it doesn't matter. Also, I have 100% compliance here. Now, participation in the war is 95%. So I don't actually need to worry about anybody taking my territory. But I could create a collaboration government. And then I just wouldn't need to take this territory in the peace deal. But if we're maybe going for a Roman Empire thing... Oh, can I go for a Roman Empire thing if I chose Greater Italy, though? Well, I don't know. But we need this territory directly. I think I'll keep it this way. Now, well, France is taken care of. So we can focus on, say, Czechoslovakia. Also, let's switch field marshals. You, over there. Oh, and in general, a commando. Sure. And a spy to Yugoslavia. And the People's Republic of Spain joins us. We're now a powerful faction. How much do I need to take it over? Not that much more. Provisional government of France. Now, see, this could be useful to us. But giving territory away as f as Italy doesn't really feel right. I'm just gonna keep them. At last, we have some production. I know submarines are weaker now, but they do have good range, so I still like using them. This cipher, Yugoslavia. Germany speaks out against the Soviets. Yeah. You're going democratic and forming an anti-communist alliance, but communists will not be your greatest threat. Our participation is going down. Spain has 12%, that's a lot. Australia independent. But they joined the Allies again. <laughs> I'm having second thoughts on France, because if I make them a collaboration government, I will keep all the territory. Won't have to take it in the peace conference. Yeah, you know what, let's do it. Collaboration government in France. Italian France. We'll lose some factories. I'll get them back. Well, not all of them, but in a moment I'll get some of them back. And now I can get uh, resources cheaply from them. Let's do that. See, I can just get... Let's get three. Why not? We'll have some extra, so I won't have to go back to it. Almost for free. All the dominions break with Britain. And now that my troops from France have arrived, I'm crushing the others. See, this way, I can spend all my points in the peace conference on taking territory here. Next, spy. Can I get the Soviet one, maybe? We need a Soviet one? I don't. More people to Romania. Expand intelligence service. Really? What do you want now? You want the anti-partisan agency upgrade. Doesn't do much. 
Sure, I can do that. Atomic research. And the final doctrine. Finish them off. I should probably go down to by blood alone, although all the focuses on the way will be useless to us. But the final one is pretty good, so let's do it. Right, Czechoslovakia, surrender. Excellent. Run over to the Romanian border. Romanian forces should be over here. All right, crushing Yugoslavia. And we are in Romania. They did not manage to get reinforcements in time. Excellent. More people then. Everybody goes to Romania. Crush them quickly. Oh, and actually, I can do the fighters now. What was the mission again? 300 new fighters. Sure, I can do that. I should probably design a new fighter. It's a bit better than the one we have. Small airframe. Replace machine guns with more machine guns. Better engine. And maybe some turrets. No, can't do that. All right, dive breaks then. This'll do. I need better airframes. Make me some fighters. And we're almost done with this silly war. Well, it wasn't silly, but I just got into it before I was ready. Still, we managed to pull it off. The next target should be in the Soviet Union. Can I justify quickly, because we're in a major war, I should be able to. Why? Well, because they're very weak and they're fighting everybody. And I can get all the territory from them. Or Germany. Now, let's attack the weak one first. Germany has had time to rebuild, pretty sure. Everybody be aggressive. Oh, the guy I sent to Africa would just... Oh no, you're the guy that's just sitting here and defending from the French. You got level 4 with 6 units. That's pretty impressive. Ah, damn it. Germany made the alliance. Who is in it? Nobody yet. So it's build up their military. Can you really do that? I don't think you can. Why is this going back to them? We're not allied. Or have military access. Council military access. Anti-partisan again. And Bucharest is about to fall, which means Romania is about to fall. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's this? Free France has had a civil war. Well, good thing I made the puppet then, because we wouldn't get anything from France if I hadn't done that. That's pretty terrible. I was hoping to get more from France. And now the puppet, well, not the puppet, the rebel is going to get that. Oh, I forgot to manage my ciphers. Ah, it's pretty much pointless at this point anyway. Do Yugoslavia a bit. And that's the end of the war. Now, can I take French stuff? I can actually take French stuff. Good. I could pop at the other France. This is mine. You, why is Yugoslavia not in the peace conference? Weird. No matter. I'm gonna take stuff directly. Do I need the Balearic Islands? I could. Let's. What I actually want the most is a direct path to the Soviets. So let's do that first. So why is this not available? Um, because it's just too expensive. That's fine. All right, that's all we can take in this round. Spain wants the Balearic Islands. Well, I don't really care about them that much, but I do want Corsica. Uh, and the Soviets want to contest this territory, but I'm about to attack them, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to abandon everything apart from Corsica. If the Soviets take it, all the better. I'll then take it from the Soviets. Oh, the Soviets want this as well. Sure, you can have it. I'd like some North Africa then. All of it, please. You know what? Just give me more Africa. That's all for this round. The ones that the Soviets demand i'm going to forfeit uh, this i don't even remember which one that is is it here ah oh, i don't really care that much but it would be nice and i do want spanish africa so let's demand these two can i demand all of the french stuff can i afford to yes yes i can even the ones already demanded by someone and we ask for bukovina that should suffice for now submit demands and now they contest everything however at this point i got everything i needed so i can fight for scraps let's say and demand everything. Actually, this one I can remove. I'm gonna get it anyway. But I can actually ask for more stuff from Spain. Should I? Can I get all of Spain? It's gonna be expensive, but I probably can. It's gonna look terrible if I do it. So let's try. Select all, demand all. Once again, let's demand everything. I have the most score. I don't think they can compete with that. I got everything. I'll let the Soviets have what's left. And the fleet. Can I have the fleet, please? Screening ships. I'm not sure what that is. Let's ask for them anyway. Some in demand, so give me the ships. And that will be it. China joins allies. All right. Ah, beautiful border goal. Now, I am still at war with Yugoslavia. Not for long, of course. And we'll deal with them shortly, but still, we are at war. How long until my war goal expires? October. I think I'll have time to deal with these guys. And the other France is allied to us. Okay, I'm fine with that. Spain must hate me for this. Wait a minute, you are already at war with us. How? I don't even know. I'm going to join your war. I have a truce. Let's wait. I do have a truce. Divisions in their territory, it might be it. You know what? Let's just let the game run for a moment. Run from their territory. Oh, Gibraltar. Wait a minute. Spain switched sides. They were just in our faction, and now they switched sides. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, that, there was something about the Stalinist victory. Didn't really read it. Perhaps I should have. Well, in that case, I might need to send some troops to Spain. But you know what? This is quite a lot to take in. I'm going to continue this tomorrow when I have a fresh mind. Had a bit of a break, I still have insufficient guns.
Well, hopefully this will start getting better soon. It's time to embrace the chaos. Because Spain switched sides. Well, I need to defeat Yugoslavia first. How much time until the war goes expires? A month and a half. Let's send some reinforcements to our main army. Okay, they're filled up now. All of you who are not assigned to an order, go here. Crush Yugoslavia quickly. Now, spies. I have a lot of those. Three go to the Soviet Union. Actually, four. And the one from Yugoslavia will go to Spain once that is available. Oh, subject troops. Um, reinforce this army. Actually, I can send you guys over to Spain already. Belgium joined Central European Allies. That's uh, the German faction. Well, we have no quarrel with them at the moment. I have better targets, but I will attack them eventually. And Denmark too. And Sweden. Well, Germany is the only real power that's gonna be in this alliance. Unless Poland joins as well, they had time to develop. They can be problematic as well. Mm, but we will crush them. I just need some time not fighting any wars so I can adjust my templates and produce enough support equipment. It looks like I will not have that time. Once again, I am relying on pure infantry, but uh, mostly because I can't afford to miss the opportunities that just attacking people right away gives me. War bonds and maybe press censorship. I have lots of political power. Nothing to do with it. Actually, that reminds me, I should probably get rid of the silent workhorse. Or maybe this guy. Or both of them. What is our consumer goods situation? 3% with Swiss gold war bonds and our other bonuses. So with this guy we would have 6 extra factories. Alternatively, I could build factories faster. What am I building right now? Civilian factories all the time. Well, I'm just addicted to civilian factories, apparently. Okay, I'm going to hire the captain of industry in place of the silent workers. I like political power, but I ran out of stuff to do with it. I don't actually need the elusive gentleman anymore. Now that I am a spy master. So let's replace him with the war industrialist for war uh, factory production. Although, no, you know what? I'll keep him for a while because I haven't finished the upgrades yet. I'll finish the upgrades first. But I will replace uh, this guy. Should I? Factory output 5%, docker output 5%. Hmm. If I take over his ministry, I'll get 2% instead. So I'll lower my output by 3% and in exchange I would bring my consumer goods factories to zero. Thus freeing up six factories. Actually, I don't think it's worth it right now. Or is it? No, let's keep it the way it is for now. Advanced computing machine. Finish Yugoslavia off, please. No, I don't actually need this war goal. I could just join an existing war. Well, it's going to be more convenient that way. Do I still have a truce with you? No. And I don't have troops in your territory. So it's fine. What? Civil war in Yugoslavia? Now? Oh, I hate those. Right, let's just finish them off right now and deal with the consequences later. Right, apparently I won't be able to take this bit, but I have the most war score, so I just want to take everything. I'll have to attack them later for one to Montenegro and Kosovo. Submit demands. You're not getting anything. Demand everything, please. Okay. Do you have a fleet? Some screening ships? Whatever that means. I don't actually know what that means. Maybe I should learn it. Submit demands. Okay, that's it for this war. Air Force successfully strengthened. Excellent. Now, I'm gonna need to take you guys, but that can wait a bit, because if I attack them the Germans might interfere. I don't think I will need to garrison my ports, so let's cancel these guys' orders. And you will go to Spain. You will also go to Spain. Right, let's see who else they're allied to. Communist Bulgaria might join them, but they are not in cahoots yet. Romania is with them. Well, and Spain. Hmm, there's some Spanish land in Africa. You guys go take care of it. This is like a special forces unit. It's just six of them and the guy is already level four with a lot of nice traits. Any other Spanish territory to take care of? Here it is. Okay, let's take these five. Give them a general, you, Carlo, and go there. There's probably not going to be any resistance in the area. I'll just relocate them somewhere else later. Be balanced. Something's wrong here. Why do I have the army morale expert hired? Did I misclick something? Maybe a focus hired him. I don't know, I wanna switch. This guy just don't have the points right now. And the main army group is going after the Soviets and Romania, who is their subject. Get a quick relocation, send the spy to Spain, just for some bonus points in the fight, and we're almost ready to attack. Ah, finished another mission. British Empire attacked Ireland. Okay, let's be balanced too. Also, how much support equipment do we have? Maybe I should get another army converted. Oh, insufficient air. Anti-air. The rest is fine. I'll wait a bit longer. See, when we have created enough infantry equipment for everyone, which will still take a little while, I will invest more factories into stuff like anti-air and artillery. Actually, I can do it right now, just lower the amount of fighters. Anti-air will work great with that. Actually, maybe even more anti-air. Once we get the factories. All right, get going. Ireland joined the communists. Continuing down this path, some extra manpower. Not that I really need manpower. Although, actually I could use some manpower. I've let a lot of my people die. Service by requirement. That should fix it. I know I can use French manpower. Once they've recovered it, let's just use our own. And they're asking me to join the war. 
Should we? This will cost us due to truces, so I can't. Who do I have a truce with? Probably Spain. How long is that truce? No, it's not Spain. Romania. I have a truce with Romania. How long? 3rd of March. That's a long time. I'm going to decline this and I'm just going to attack the Soviet Union and they're going to call in Romania and my truce will not matter. Ah, damn it. I forgot to decrypt them. That's a bit of a blunder. Not a major one, but still a blunder. Can we perhaps get a Soviet agent? Yes, we can. Go, continue building up to 50 so I can do my collaboration governments. This is fine. Oh, I actually have a war goal on Gibraltar because it belongs to Spain now. Interesting. Perhaps they wouldn't call in the others right away. I can just use both war goals. You know what? It's not important. We'll just attack the Soviets. Ah, you don't seem to have enough supplies. How are we doing with those railways? It's not connected. Well, no wonder you don't have supplies if it's not connected. Fix that immediately. Still have a couple of days until my war goal expires. Might as well build railways. There. Much better. Okay, I don't think there's any good reason to delay this any further. Let's declare war on the Soviet Union. Oh, Spain's their subject. So I can use the normal conquer or the conquer focus one. Right, because through a focus or something, Spain became their subject. And that's why they left the former faction. Ah. Uh, Sure, I'll use this the one on Spain. No need to call allies. Romania should be automatically called in. Will they be? Well, not automatically, but... Uh, you know what? It's, it's good if they call them in, and it's good if they don't. I called communist China. Romania is still not in the war. That's not a problem. I'll just beat up Spain. Is Spain in the war? Probably not yet. So let's just declare on them. Can I declare on Romania? I cannot because of the truce. It's fine. If they don't call Romania in, I'll just kill Spain and then move more troops to the Soviet border. Speaking of killing Spain, how's it going? They just don't have enough troops to counter me, so it's gonna be quick. And painless, at least. Painless for me. They've called Moldavia. We do not border each other. Or do we? Is there a border here? There is! Alright, good to know. And they've called Romania in. Which means we can start progressing and killing them. My troops are still not the best they can be, but the Soviet Union is recovering from a civil war. So is Spain, so we should be superior. And as you can see, we're moving across Romania quite quickly. What's my participation? Only 8% so far. Oh, but Communist China is a major, so I will likely have to go all the way to China. Unless, unless China kills them, which is also an option. Norway joins Germany. Mm, you guys should be aggressive after all. Deal with Spain aggressively, and deal with the Soviet Union. Oh, they don't have enough troops either. Uh, join with Sov deal with Soviet Union aggressively as well. That's gonna work better. Capitulated Moldavia. Hungary joins Germany. Sure, that's gonna work out great for you once I surround you. Let's make the best guns. Uh, although, do I have a focus that will give me a bonus to it? Ah, here's one. 75% bonus for infantry weapons. That's going to let us get the best guns very quickly. Excellent. We'll do it next. In the meantime, more industry. Um, looking good. Although, why are you not attacking from the... What is this? It's not impassable terrain or something. Oh, of course. I have forgotten to call my puppet in. Italian France. That's better. See, the color is the same, so I didn't realize it. Uh, looks like Bulgaria wants to die. As you finish Romania off... Yeah, they've called in Bulgaria. No problem. I have lots of troops just waiting here to deal with Bulgaria. More territory for me. Oh... I did not expect Portugal to join. Hmm, and they've connected territories here. This could be problematic for me. I'm going to need to readjust a little bit. Half of this army. Go handle Portugal. I love the comprehensive orders I've given to my troops. They should really be able to handle Spain more easily. Maybe they would have handled them already if I called in France immediately. Go around them a bit. Yeah, Portugal got called in. Although they don't seem to have any troops here. Maybe I can just run through the territory, get stuff and disrupt them. This should work itself out. Mostly. It's a bit chaotic, but we do have the stronger force, I think. Although, if you guys get caught without a port, that's gonna be disastrous. So maybe you just run to it very quickly and stay here. Don't do anything. This is... this is real ugly, isn't it? Oh, missions. Collaboration government, as usual. And rescue captured operative. New operative. She'll do. I love Bordego, but this is making me uneasy. I have no idea if I'm winning or not. But these guys are cut off, but two units are working towards uncutting them off. I seem to have the stronger forms, but do I? I don't know. I think I do. Ah, beautiful chaos. Perhaps should have sent some more troops here. And I will, soon. Here, have some more. You dealing with Bulgaria? Yes. Yes, you are. Embargoed by Germany. Alright, this is looking acceptable, I guess, but the front line here disappeared. Let's give you 
Wait a minute, why can't I do a front line? It's just invisible, apparently. Not whatever. Let's just give them manual orders. Maybe I should have used the garrison order on Spain. Might have been more comprehensive to the unit. Sending more troops. Take the port. I've done the colonial empire. Now we can finally do buy blood alone for nice bonuses. However, I want to get the research boost to our guns first. So this one, Fiocchi Munizioni. I think that's how you pronounce that. Fiocchi? Maybe it was Fiocchi. No idea. This is not going too well, is it? I just, uh, I should probably take over and uh, redo the others just to make them more comprehensive and all that, but it's just fascinatingly beautiful. Yeah, okay, let's redo the others because before I mess everything up. Just attack from here. And I'll mop these up manually. Bulgaria capitulates. And now Finland's getting stuff. Send some people far away so we can maintain the spy network. Also, only 41% participation. Now oh, that's Estonia Finland League. Double the power. Should I send some of my main army to Spain temporarily to kill them off completely? Nah, it's fine. That's not fine, but I think they can handle it. God love the chaos. Ireland capitulates. That's fine. Not my concern. This is... Should have just attacked from the north. Yeah, it's fine. Are you in my faction? You are. Expand spy network in the Soviet Union. Do I want land lease? No, actually. I don't want to lower my war score. Participation. Expeditionary force. Here you go. Pakistan. Is getting involved. Everyone's getting involved. Now let's not forget to finally hire the offense expert. Claim a Montenegro's throne. Oh, I can claim Montenegro's throne. Is that gonna work on the Yugoslavian Confederation? Let's do that. Give me. I can send an ultimatum to them. They're gonna give me my throne now. Perfetto. Hey, how about the other bit? I make demand of you. Give me the rest of your independence, little boy. Netherlands joint stuff. Fuel reserves. It doesn't matter. This is pointless, but sure, I'll just buy some oil. France, do you have some? No. Venezuela. Ten factories. Until I build the reserves up. Ah, the infantry weapons boost. Excellent. All right, we're progressing nicely in Spain now. Without all the chaos. That's much better, isn't it? Although I do miss the chaos a bit. Yugoslavia submits. Now you are my little puppet. Excellent. What do I need for that Greater Italy thing? Corsica, I do have that. I need Greece. I would need to conquer Greece and North Africa. So essentially I would need to betray and kill the Brits and conquer Greece. If I do attack Greece, they'll probably join Germany. I will have to fight all that. Well, not a problem on its own. I am rather busy. Even though I'm fighting everywhere, we are increasing the amount of guns we have. More or less. Good. Soviet cipher. Let's use it. Are there even any Soviet defenses here? I am on aggressive, but you guys don't seem to be moving much. Yeah, you move. Enough. China's doing a lot of work, but communist China still eludes them. Pakistan has a white peace with us. Oh, not with all of us, just with Britain. So it gives them nothing. I'm gonna switch these guys to balanced, so they don't waste too many resources. Baku is now your capital. How the mighty have fallen. Ah, excellent. And with the arms industry thingy, I get some nice boosts. Now it's time for buying blood alone. We get boots to everything. Recovery, attack, and recruitable population. I'll switch this out for the best guns. We'll finish that other research in a moment. Looking as it should. Resistance looking completely acceptable. How did you miss this bit? Go there. British Empire is just fighting against us. It's probably just a focus, but let's have a look. Bring dominions back into the fold. All right, so some of the dominions are in our faction and they are getting war goals against them. And because we're in the same faction, we get the warning. Oh, the Brits landed in Portugal. That's not gonna make a difference. Kill them faster, please. Shouldn't the Soviets be capitulating already? They might when my mission finishes. If it even has time to finish itself. 39 days. It might. You go to communist China and damage them. Surely nobody will recognize you're a spy. You switch to aggressive again now that the Brits are here. Got the fuel. Time to terminate the trade. China is actually in our faction. So I could attack from their territory if I so choose. Italian East Africa request control of Eritrea. Italian East Africa is these guys. Do I want to give it to them? Well, there's nothing here. It will be their core territory, won't it? Sure, you can have it. Is it your core territory? No, it's an occupied state. Then it was a mistake. I shouldn't have given it to them. But it hardly matters. Ah, Giovanni, be adaptable. The Soviets have capitulated. Did my mission finish? It did not, which is a pity. I did get all of their territory, or almost all of their territory. And so who else do I need to kill? Communist China. I just send one army, or all of them. Just one. Go kill communist China. And the rest of you can go and help finish off Spain. Ah, beautiful Italy. The Estonian Finland League did quite well. The mission finished five days too late and I'm getting nothing, sadly. I can always puppet them, I suppose. I do get cheaper puppets and I have tons of political power to use. That would be, of course, to get more in the peace conference. By blood alone. Complete. Let's do this one. Farm fields. Ah, damn it. These guys just attacked Sweden. Sweden is allied to the Germans. Well, fortunately, I don't have to. 
join this war. Looks like the Brits are going to be fighting the Germans. But I can prepare myself before I join in. Or I could just not join in. Imperial Helvetic Confederation joined us. So Switzerland decided to join our side. Are you going to be fighting the Germans? Yes. Yes, you are. When two people are fighting, let them. And benefit afterwards. What? Jap no. Oh. Well, that's terrible. The Japanese have just joined Communist China. I don't know if I did Japanese. I suppose I have the capability, but I really don't want to. Well, at least we do have the fleet to do it. All right. I guess we'll have to finish off Communist China and Spain, and then we can invade Japan. I should research better naval invasions. Let's switch this research around. Where is it? Here. Communist China capitulated. And that would be the end of the war if it happened a week ago. Sadly, now I have to beat up Japan, which is quite annoying. Now, yeah, well, just get over here. Get our entire fleet, which is quite sizable by now. Let's merge them. Ah, Spain has capitulated, finally. Uh, there's still Portugal in here. Relocate that fleet over here, and you can merge on the way. And the Japanese are trying to invade China. China has a navy for once, don't they? Also, what used to be Manchuka is now our friend. Right, you guys finish off Portugal. There it goes. There's still some people. Done. Now you guys can get ready to beat up Japan. Just get to ports over in China. You should get enough supplies there and then you can relocate to China from there. Then again, this is actually going to be easier because Korean ports belong to us as well. We just attack from there. Then we only need to deal with one sea zone. Right, travel there. Germany I'm going to leave alone for now. We've been embargoed by Burma. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Actually, I could start my invasion right now. Maybe they're not ready, even without the special technology. Let's try that. Is that navy of mine still on its way? Engage in combat, don't, and ah, whatever. You can crush them. The mission is to patrol the Sea of Japan. Go do that. Don't engage in needless combat. What are you doing? Engaging in needless combat, aren't you? Yeah, that's what you're doing. Are they running away? They are. Tanu Tuva capitulated. You didn't really pay attention, so I didn't realize they were in the fight. Right, what's our naval supremacy now? It's a lot, because for once we have a big fleet. Now, can we land in Japan? They are actually defending the port. But if I attack them with all my troops, we might take it. Or well, I'll just go around and take Osaka. Might be able to do that. Power plans. If they don't reinforce the port, we'll win. Because they might reinforce the port. Ah, we got it. Excellent. Travel there. Actually, all those other armies, are you close by? I did tell you to come here, didn't I? Well, close by might not be right, the right word, but you're on your way. And that's enough. Guard the port until reinforcements arrive. Regarding the port, yes, you are. Excellent. Now just wait for all the reinforcements and then you can crush the Japanese when they arrive. Make sure to move quickly, reinforcements. I guess I could activate the attacks, but then... I would be worried about losing the port. Let's just wait for all the forces to be here. It's not gonna take too long. They are almost here already. See, they're arriving. Actually, I'll activate all the other ones. And now that they're here, I can also activate the main army. Well, the first army, let's say. Oh, ran out of stuff to build. See, only build civilian factories just because I like to do that. Now, I don't have any more core territory. If I do Greater Italy, although I probably won't, I'll have some more core territory here and in North Africa. But um, I do have my French puppet and I do get 75% of all their factories. So I might as well just build there, starting with highways. So we can cruise around not only Italy, but also France in our wonderful Italian cars. Might break easily, but they're beautiful. How are you guys doing? As expected, you're doing great. Right. Kill the silly Japanese who decided to oppose us. Oh, I actually dismissed something. I didn't necessarily want to. Poland has allied the Germans. Let's remember that. Well, good thing I didn't join this one, because that would be very annoying. I have to fight on that front as well. I almost have enough guns. Or oh, Roma has become an expert. Whatever. Yes, sure, fine. Even if they become independent, that's not really going to change anything for us. Go take them over here. Mm, it shouldn't take too long with Japan. What is my participation? And why is it the most? 60%. Yeah, looks about right. Are you guys gonna surrender? Almost there. Let's get Nagasaki and that might be sufficient. Is it sufficient? Yes, it is. Excellent. Peace conference. Now, I have the most points, but what do we do with those points? How about they puppet the Soviet Union? It's 4,789 to get all the territories, and it's more to puppet them with all the territories. Well, that's unfortunate. So what do we actually want? It would be nice to have a communist China puppet. It's always nice to have a communist China puppet. Let's do that. China is going to oppose me, but um, this can actually become very profitable later on if we play this right. Now, Japan. Do we want a Japanese puppet? I would like that, yes. With everything. I have enough points for that. So my Far East puppets are set up. Now I just want to take some territory directly. Let's take Spain, so it looks nice. I should just take all from here. Can I do the same for Portugal? Not really. Not all of it, at least. Right, that'll have to be 
it for this round. So mid demands. Oh, that's a lot of points to puppet China. I guess I don't really need it. Everybody wants this state. See, realistically, it's wonderful to have communist China because then if you fight China, you can just give all the territory to them and they will have like 40 million manpower. But I don't think I will fight China in this playthrough. They are my ally if you'd want to make the most of it. So I'm just gonna abandon this, I guess. It's too expensive. Now, let's take all the Portuguese stuff, please. Next up, Romania. Give me everything. And Bulgaria. Give me everything. Do I have score left? Time to start taking Soviet stuff. Can I just take all in one round? Let's go all the way down to Turkey. We'll have some nice resources down here. And creep up around Poland. If we want to join the war with Germany, that's going to be helpful. And I could contest Estonia, Finland for these states, but it's not that important. Right, enough demands. Well, this time I'm actually going to contest everything. Because I actually want this stuff, because I'll look cool if I have it. And that too. I'm willing to share with Estonia, Finland. Just, I did more, so I get more. You can get the frozen north. I'll get the warmer bits. Us Italians are not used to frozen north territories. But China wants this. Might contest it later. Right, enough for this round. Once again, contest everything. Because I can. Should I just try and take everything? Absolutely everything. Might be too expensive. Let's just take as much as we can from the list. Submit. Last round, and I think I have enough points to actually contest everything. And then demand the stuff that I didn't get. The New Peace Conference actually lets you get away with quite a lot. So I would get all of the Soviet Union with this. And I it's my demands. Demand everything again. I still have points to demand everything. I'm gonna keep doing that. Until I don't have the points and I'll have to give something up. Ha! Ah, got everything. Now, it's been so many rounds that I can't actually demand anything else. Oh, I forgot about you guys. I don't have enough points. It's gonna look terrible. Oh, well. Should have thought of that earlier. Can we get a ship or something for those 42 points I have left? The screening ships. I still don't know what they do, but let's take them. And end the peace conference. Excellent. So I got quite a bit of territory. China got a bit too. I got a Japanese puppet, which should be quite helpful to me. Got Iberia and got the Soviet Union. The entirety of it. Now, I would be happy to end here. There is some border go, but I don't really need to own everything and fight everyone. Um, but my allies are already fighting Germany and I am ready to fight Germany. I even have their cipher in the collaboration government. So it's going to be very easy to, you know, beat them up. Now, can I take over the faction first? I just need some more manpower. But the thing is, I don't need to fight right away. That's a lot of manpower. We do have non-core manpower boost, so nice. So where was I? Oh yeah, I could just uh, develop my troops a bit. I could probably win what I have. I could also make them better. I could use this one, add assault battalions, and either, either cavalry or signal cavalry recon. Yeah, that could work. Something like this will be quite powerful. What if I just switched all my troops to that? Also, once I'm done building roads in front, let's get a lot of military factories there. Time to redo the army. Switch the ones I can into the new super big template. I do have some expeditionary forces in my armies. Quite a lot, actually. And I can still use them as supporting forces. But what we need to do is deploy some more troops. You guys are switching up. Good. Go home. Go home, everyone. Artillery boost. Decrypt Poland. Also, is France or Poland a major power? That's going to be quite crucial to my plans. Both Poland and Sweden are major powers. Sending spies to Poland and Sweden. Might pull off more operations in the meantime. Also, I should probably attack Greece. That is not important. Now, do we want to use the expeditionary forces? They are pretty crap, to be honest, compared to what I can field. Even those irregular ones that I already have are pretty crap compared to what I can field. I should probably get them out of the main units. My compliance is growing really slowly. Bangladesh declared war in Pakistan. Not my problem. We're preparing for a war with Germany, so let's see who their friends and enemies are. Right. Netherlands, Belgium, Hungary, Poland, Denmark, Sweden, Norway. I can handle that. Oh, and Turkey. Turkey too? No, they're just friends. Well, crap. How did that happen? Hungary just declared war on me. Hungary's out with the Germans and my troops are just not here yet. Well, that's surprising, annoying, and, uh, well, I guess I can deal with that. Now that I have to. All of my allied units are here, though. They will be helpful. I do have to move fast. To secure my borders. Oh, right, Switzerland is in my faction. I don't really want to defend at their borders. This development is very annoying because I didn't want to fight them just yet. I didn't even know Hungary had a war goal against me. We're more or less fine if the troops can get in their position quickly, which is not necessarily the case because they're going all the way from Japan, at least some of them. I do have some troops I just deployed in Italy so I can relocate these quickly as well. Right, so the main army is going with 20 with with support. The reserves are going with 12 with with no support for now. 
I need to gain control of the situation. Go. Get in position quickly. See, Hungary is already making gains. They called in Sweden. That's not too bad. Should even call in Germany. It will not be too bad if I can get my troops there in time. Just not a given. Belgium. Denmark, Netherlands and the Dutch East Indies also join. See, the Netherlands and Belgium are a bit of a problem, but I did get some troops here already. Just gonna attack everywhere. You guys have the audacity to challenge me. You will suffer for it. Oh, I did not fill the entire Polish border. That's a mistake. I'm gonna need a third field marshal or just one of the armies from Hungary. Or you. You can handle that bit. I really just attack. You just move into Hungary. Make them pay for attacking me. The Germans and the Polish have not joined yet, which is good. And the Hungarians will of course be crushed in a moment. Damn it. Germany has been called in, but my troops did arrive at the border, at least some of them. So it's not terrible. Oh right, Belgium is not a threat because my puppet Italy has not been called in and I don't actually need to call them in. I keep forgetting because they're the same color. See, having puppets is very convenient. I'm going to recall this army. Should I just call them in? You know what, I'll just call them in. At this point, it's an all-out war. Let's crush them with everything we have. Belgium seems to have more troops here than I do, but reinforcements are on the way. It's fine. Just crush them for daring to oppose me. Yay, crushing Germany through the marginal line. Although, yeah, we need help here. You guys move faster. Can we make Hungary capitulate quicker? Oh, and I need troops up here. You, leave Hungary, go up north. See, I planned to have a bit of a recess, wait a bit, build enough artillery and anti-air for all my troops, send them all the stuff in a leisurely manner. Sadly, that is not what happened. My subject Japan wants to send me stuff. Uh, sure, why not? Expeditionary forces, that's an interesting proposition. I will actually take you up on that. Give me the expeditionary forces. New army, new field marshal. Who do we have? Rodolfo will have to do. Or Pietro. He's decent. Or does he have a defensive doctrine? He does, doesn't he? Well, Rodolfo will be better then. Go help out in Belgium. Have you killed Hungary yet? Not yet, but almost. Right, of course, let's not forget I have the German cipher. Let's use it immediately. Let's also instigate collaboration government operations against Sweden and Poland. They will probably not complete, but if they do, it will benefit me. With the German cipher active, we should be able to do more damage. These guys, well, they are not in position yet. Please faster. Be extra aggressive with Hungary. They deserve it for attacking me. And we're making nice progress. It was a surprise war. I was not ready to be attacked. And I will punish them extra hard for that. Attack Germany from everywhere. An extra army to Poland if they join in. And it's fine. Ah, Sweden has called in Poland. Well, we are ready this time. More than ready. We are vengeful. Yeah, Norway doesn't matter to us. We're not even bothering them. I just need my troops to get in position quickly. Please move using railways when you can. They have not yet arrived. At least not all of them. And we can actually assume leadership of the Allies. Excellent. Turkey requests light tanks. What do I get for them? Two civilian factories. Sure. Belgium capitulates and I take over. The Allies making them green. Italy assumes a leadership. Let's look at the factions map mode. The green allies. Excellent. Oh, Latin and Taunt. Do you actually have any provinces or is it just, just the desert? Zero fa- it's just the desert. <laughs> they have zero factories. Well, the French are living as Bedouins. Although, no, Bedouin is more north, right? That's fine. So many focuses. This focus tree is a bit big, isn't it? Oh, this gives me an extra operative. I suppose I can go that way. Then again, I don't need these bonuses, mostly. Uh, operatives are always nice. Let's do it. Not much better to do. Crushing Germany. This is going nicely. Belgium is taken care of. The Brits have landed here. They can deal with the Netherlands, maybe. Our attack on Poland is not going very well. Well, I am still gathering troops, and Poland had a lot of time to prepare for this, and they did not have a civil war like Germany did. So Poland might actually be stronger than Germany at this point. We will see. Once one is crushed, we shall move to crush the other. Should I do balanced? Yeah, let's crush them quickly. More guns, please. Our attack on Germany seems to be overwhelming, which is not the case for Poland. But once Germany is crushed, all these troops will be repurposed. The Netherlands, Denmark, and of course, Poland. And it's the good troops that are fighting Germany. The ones with support companies. Now, one thing I forgot. Let's do smoke and fire. Do the suppressive barrage, because this helps with it, doesn't it? I'm gonna switch everyone to balanced. These guys might get cut off from the rest very soon. Alright, better entire. Sure. Deploying some extra planes we have. Oh, I don't have oil for these planes. More recruitable population. Decrypting Poland might for once be more profitable than decrypting Germany. So let's keep going. Also, Germany has a full collaboration government, so they will surrender at half of their victory points. Subdue Greece, really? Well, I do have better things to do right now. Italian East Africa wants guns. 
Sure, whatever. Are they going to betray me? If they do, I'll crush them. We're not weak ass. Italy? We're powerful Italy. Ah, excellent. We've reached the sea. Kill the Netherlands. If I get one more important victory point from Germany, I should win. I could rush Berlin, but if we fight more, we'll have more participation. Ah, Polish cipher. Excellent. Let's use that. Decrypt Germany, although I do expect to kill them before this is done. Yeah, Germany has capitulated. Mop up the remaining resistance, please. And I can actually create a coalition government, but let's first... See, I can do it immediately. Uh, but I think I should take out the resistance first, so that they will surely get the territory. The Polish are not moving in yet. Good. Just two more bits of territory, and I can do the coalition government. And Hamburg. There it is. Ah, oh, there's still a bit here. Quickly. Kill them. Although, if I wait to take the Königsberg area, my new puppet will get that as well. Perhaps I should. Let's finish off the Netherlands, and then I can use this army to create a Field Marshal level order on Poland. Actually, I can make the Field Marshal level order right away. Just have to adjust some stuff. Like this. What was that? Ah, oh, I forgot about Denmark. Damn Denmark. You. Move. Take care of them. Best guns researched. Make them immediately. They're more expensive, but they're also significantly stronger. I need some steel, quite a lot of it. Fortunately, we have France and all that French steel. The Netherlands are still alive, somehow. Not much longer, but still. Impressive. And there they go. Take the hug, and our full army group has now converged in Poland. Germany was stronger than Poland, and Poland resisted because I was using the better troops on Germany. Now they'll all be crushed. And I'm not doing the coalition government yet, because... If I take this territory and this territory here, then my new puppet should get all of that. And the war will not end when I kill Poland, because Sweden is also considered a major. We'll kill them afterwards. Why are you guys going so slowly? Here, have some extra help. To Quarso. And the funny thing here is, I'm not the aggressor. They attacked me. Only 60%. Not a problem. We'll get Germany for free anyway. And Poland capitulates. Mop up the remaining forces, please. Get me Königsberg. Why are you not attacking? Be aggressive. Be aggressiver. Yes, I know the proper form is more aggressive. Focus on Hamburg a bit more. France offers colonial compensation. French Somaliland. Don't I own it? I own it. Well, they actually want the territory. You know what? I don't care. Our fight here is over. Get Hamburg and then I can create my puppet. There's a lot of troops here though. Hey you. Entire army group. Go kill them. Actually, how should I kill Sweden? From the south or from the north? Well, why not both? Kill the guys in Hamburg faster. Agent injured in the Coalition Government mission against Poland. Which actually doesn't give me anything, because Poland has already capitulated. Although, I'm not sure if it takes effect. It might actually take effect after taking territory, because I have 30% in the Soviet Union. Which is about right. Alright, time for Germany to rise as my subject. Create a Coalition Government in Germany. And this is an excellent option. See, they get all that territory. Because now in the Peace Conference, this is automatically mine, and I don't have to take it. Which means I can take more other stuff. Now send all these guys up to Sweden, please. Oh, what? End of the war? Are these two separate wars? Why is it happening like this? It's weird. Well, I want Hungary. Also, I want more Hungary. And maybe bits of Belgium, too. Do I have the points? The Brits seem to have more points. Actually, let's just try and take the European bits. Ah, I got it. Well, they'd get the European bits, they got all the other bits, which is more bits. Still, I'm gonna look better. We have some score left, but not enough to do anything with it. Not sure why this was a separate peace conference. I guess it doesn't really matter. Some more military factories. Oh, and I can now build in Germany as well, since they're a proper puppet now. A proper collaboration government, which is much better than a regular puppet. You, go to Sweden, quickly. Let's crush them. They don't even have time to resist. Such overwhelming power bears onto them. Denmark has capitulated. Excellent. And now that we are actually in Sweden, here we go. Have a proper order and move quickly. You take this bit. Competing machines are done. Invest in our industry even more. And this is actually going to be very easy because, well, let's say the Swedish army cannot compare to the German one. Also, they're mostly engaged in the north, trusting in Denmark to protect their south, which they did not manage to do. So this shall end shortly. The war with two major powers left, Sweden and Poland, because Germany, well, Germany's mine now. They're not even in the war anymore. What did we do with the operations? Why can't you launch it? Uh, operative is not available. God damn it. Operative not available. But now? Well, it's a bit late for that. Although maybe I'll get extra compliance if it finishes after the war. As long as it was launched. Hmm, I should have called in the Japanese. Let's call in everyone. The Japanese tend to be quite aggressive. And do naval invasions and all that. Why is this going to Estonia, Finland? Do you have cores here? No. And Sweden capitulates. Which leaves me with 62% war score and Germany already belonging to me. 
Excellent. Now, what do we want? We want the Netherlands and Poland. Well, I can't get everything in one go. I will get everything. Just not in one go. Since Germany is already mine, I can focus on that. Suriname. Do I want Suriname? Well, I already have a bit here. It's not that important to me. I guess I can forfeit Suriname. Focus on European things instead. All of Poland, please, and some Denmark. And all this. We could get the Dutch East Indies too, I suppose. There's a lot of manpower. And the resources there. Lots of rubber. You can just pop at them. Hmm, that's even more expensive. Submit demands. I'm going to demand everything. Who took that? China. Whoa. Let's try and take all of the Scandinavian territories if we can. All of Sweden. And can I get all of Norway too? Yes, I can. Submit demands. Demand everything again. Submit demands. Demand everything again. I'll leave Suriname. Do I want the Dutch East Indies? I could use some, yeah. Maybe all of it. Can I get all of it? Possibly. God damn it. Come on. Looks like I can't get everything. Well, let's forfeit this bit. Aru Islands, wherever they are. Yeah, I like that. We have to forfeit Java, sadly. All right, we have 300 points left, which is not enough for any of the territory. But we could get some ships. This'll do. And a turn. And the conference. Ah, Italy. And we're finally at peace. And we have our puppet Germany and our puppet France and our 682 factories. 83. Now, 9 million manpower. Non-core manpower is working really well for us. And we are the leader of the Allies. Let's look at the factions map mode. We own almost everything. I'm going to end the video here because we are clearly the most powerful country in the world and nobody can stop us. Few reasons. One, we're the most powerful. We have the most manpower and most factories. I'm sure of that. British Empire has a quarter of our power in factories alone, and their armies are also weaker. United States could be a contender. They have more factories than the British, but they're surely not as powerful as we are. They have almost no military factories. Let's also not forget our puppets. Japan, Germany and France. China is strong, but they are also our subject. They have very little industry, even though they have a significant manpower. So we're clearly the strongest. We also rule over Britain and China in our alliance. Well, we don't strictly rule over them, but we can kick them if we want to, or we can dictate who they fight. So the only one left out who's still sufficiently powerful to do anything is the United States. Normally that would be a problem, but the British do have territory here, and I could attack Canada from there, and from that move on to the United States, and so on. Or alternatively, from here to Mexico. Or, again alternatively, I have a significant fleet. So do the Brits. Well, so do the Americans. Their fleet is actually... Is it bigger than mine? 319? How big is mine? It's comparable to my fleet. But if the Brits help me, well, the Americans won't stand a chance. So we could attack from here. We could attack through Mexico from here. Well, here's from Canada. Or we could use the islands that we own in the area. And we do own some. Here's my island. Here's British Jamaica. And here's my territory I could use to mount some naval invasions and crush the United States. But we are... Definitely strong enough so it wouldn't be enjoyable. And I don't want to do boring stuff anymore. So let's not. Now, how do I rate this game? It was chaotic, but rather fun. The dangerous moment was when Hungary attacked me while I had no troops here and we had to scramble to defend. But it worked out in the end. Now, if I were to continue this, what would I do? The United States are democratic. They are guaranteeing a bunch of people. Which doesn't mean they couldn't, you know, guarantee someone else that we attacked. So if we ignore the United States, the right thing to do would be to attack Greece and Turkey and everyone else who's not in an alliance. So Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan and so on. Possibly Tibet, Burma and such. Also, there's still the Latin Entente here with no industry and very little manpower. They somehow live. Afterwards, it will be the Americas. Gradually, slowly. Now, if we do not ignore the United States, the first course of action would be to attack them from three sides. So we would declare war on Mexico and Canada, attacking with one army group from here, with one army group from here. Of course, building up uh, the infrastructure a bit first, and also launching naval invasions. Now, getting through Mexico could be a bit of work, so maybe, let's say, two armies in the south, maybe three armies in the north, and an entire army group reinforcing a landing somewhere here. And then we would move from there. Justifying a war goal on Canada takes longer than on Mexico, so I should probably start with Mexico. And then attack Canada. In the meantime, just to get extra access. Our fleet should secure a landing. The American fleet is probably stronger, but they should be dispersed more. So if I concentrated my ships, it should secure a landing. But even if it doesn't, I can just move through Mexico. And after the United States are taken care of, and Canada, and Mexico, I will just gradually move into South America and the countries that are not yet under our influence in the old world. 
and afterwards, if I was feeling particularly malicious, I would one by one kick countries out of the faction and take them over, probably starting with Britain, then China, India, maybe the others as well, but it doesn't really matter, since they have to listen to me as members of my faction. Oh, I just noticed, Latvia is independent. Okay, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know, really, what you think. The comments under the last Poland video were quite helpful in choosing my direction for the channel, let's say. There's also some Victoria content still upcoming. I have recorded a huge campaign right when Victoria came out, and I'm still working through that backlog with editing and all that. And I'll probably go back to Victoria, but just do smaller videos, since the episodic content of my Ching run doesn't seem to be working as well with you guys. So I'll just do smaller stuff with Victoria, if you want to see it. Okay, that's it. Have a nice day, or evening, or whatever it is over there, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.